market intelligence is vital for the success of every business. Your business is doomed to fail in the absence of intelligence. What exactly am I referring to as market intelligence and how do you get it? Today's topic will give a high level overview of the importance of market intelligence to the success of your business. These are some of the facts. The research is showing that in 2021, 20.8% of business startups fail. Why? Limited market intelligence. The research is also showing that in 2022, 40% of business startups fail, again, for some of the similar reasons. And in 2023, 49.9% of business startups fail. I want to show you with market intelligence, your business stands a much greater chance to be successful. In today's lesson, lesson number five, we call it Mastering Market Research and Data Analytics. And as we go into today's lesson, our table of content for today is market research and data analytics, what it means to collect sensitive data, what it means to analyze sensitive data, what is data application, and last but not least, what it means to mitigate sensitive data. Now, all of these are essential when you want to be successful in business. Now, let me go into a couple of things, okay? Now, to be market research and data analytics driven, several things you're required to represent. One, it is to be market oriented. Now, you want to be market oriented, means that you understand the market in which you're operating in. Second, you want to be market sensitive. Being market sensitive means that you understand people and their needs. And third, you want to be market responsive. The only way you should be innovating products and services is based on response. And to be responsive, market responsive, it is necessary for you to have the market intelligence. To achieve all of the above means you are collecting sensitive data about the ideal client, you're analyzing sensitive data about the ideal client, you're applying sensitive data about the ideal client, and last but not least, you are mitigating data, sensitive data about the ideal client because information do change. Now, the big question is, what specific data am I referring to? When you hear me refer to data and the importance of collecting sensitive data, analyzing sensitive data, applying sensitive data, and mitigating sensitive data, the data that I refer to are as follows. Demographic data, psychographic data, and geographic data. How important are these data fingerprints to the success of your business? We're going to go into that now. The big question is, again, why should business collect demographic data? So let's look at the importance of demographic data. You collect demographic data because of the following reason. Your consumer or potential consumer purchasing decisions are influenced by demographic factors. And you need to know those demographic factors. We call them demographic fingerprints that you should know. For example, what is the industry fingerprint? Business to business or B2B market operates different than B2C markets. And do you really understand the fingerprint of those markets? I want to show you is this knowledge help you to build healthy productive relationship with the market is going to get you to the know, like, and trust faster and bring you to that point to cash flow optimize like a pro. This is like doing what we call the forensic audit, the DNA testing and the fingerprint sequencing. You really want to take the time to understand your demographic based on the fingerprint, all right, based on the specific data. We call it it's like if you're doing the forensic audit. It's like if you're doing DNA testing. It's like if you're doing the fingerprint sequencing. You want to really understand your target market. The more you understand about the target market, the better position you are placed in to influence desired results. Now, when we talk of demographic, there's a broad range of issues that must be considered. For example, the same 
concept, meaning the forensic audit DNA testing fingerprint sequencing, it must also be applied not only to the industry type, but you want to look at age and race. Now, there are different age groups, and each age group has a specific fingerprint, a specific DNA, and they all should be subject to what we call the forensic audit. It is the forensic audit that really helps you to understand the target market based on their specific needs, wants, and expectations. We call it fingerprint, all right? We call it DNA testing. We call it doing the forensic audit. The more you understand your ideal client based on these factors, age and race, ethnicity and gender, marital status, income status, educational status, and employment status. The more you understand the ideal client based on these factors, you are better positioned to influence a desirable sales outcome. I want to show you those who are applying the push factors of sales very often do not understand all of this. But I want to show you this. Those are applying the pull factors of sale. They have taken the time to understand the ideal client, and it's with, it is with this understanding they leverage sales strategies to achieve the desired end results. The next big question is, why should businesses collect and leverage psychographic data? Why should businesses leverage, collect and leverage psychographic data? You collect and leverage psychographic data because of the following reasons. It enables you to be market oriented, to be market sensitive, and to be market responsive. And these things must be in disorder. The more knowledgeable you are about the market, the more knowledgeable you are about the ideal client, the more sensitive you're allowed to be to respond to that target market needs, wants, and expectations. That is what's going to enable your response to be more relevant to that ideal client. Let's look at some other benefits. Each demographic has specific needs. Understanding the dem demographic psychographics enables you to reach and exceed the client expectation. Let me repeat this one. Each target market has specific needs. The more you understand about the target market psychographic, that will enable you to reach and exceed that target market expectations. And the ability to reach their expectations and exceed their expectation is going to put you in the know, like, and trust book. And the more they know you like you and trust you because you're delivering value above and beyond their expectation consistently, they would want to do business with you. So the reason you're collecting these data is because you want to collect these data to make informed and educated decision about the ideal client. A next benefit, it enables you your business to breach the know, like, and trust factors faster. And I say bridge because of the fact that there are many rising stars in business that struggle to get through the know, like, and trust. The longer you take to break through and to breach the know, like, and trust factor is the longer it's going to take for that business to cash flow. The faster you're able to make the breach is the faster your business is going to cash flow. And in doing business, you clearly want to identify from the get-go the fastest way to cash flow, optimize your business and your brand. The next reason that we're going to be looking at here for doing the psychographic analysis is it enables your business to position as a dominant brand in the market. So because you have data about the ideal client, it allows you to be market sensitive. It allows you to be market responsive. And that in itself gives you a competitive advantage to assert and assume market dominance and so much more. I'm going to pause here on this part for now. Now, the last big question that I want you to also ask yourself is why should business leaders collect and leverage geographic data. How important is geographic data to helping that business to cash flow optimize? You collect and leverage geographic data because of the following reason. One, you're better, you better understand the ideal client based on local issues, challenges, and changes that is taking place in the market. 
So the objective of collecting these information is to always make sure that you have the market intelligence, the market intelligence that is guiding you in the business decision making process, in the cash flow optimization process of that business. Second, reasons why you should be collecting geographic data and using geographic data. One, secondly, you're better able to understand the ideal client based on national issues, challenges, and changes. Now, as we talk about challenges and changes, it is important as you do business to focus on what we call the SWOT analysis. There is a SWOT analysis referred to strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And there are changes that are taking place here constantly. But if your finger is not on the pulse, if your ear is not to the drum, if you're not market-oriented, market-sensitive, you cannot be market-responsive. There are changes that are taking place. Your ideal client may be moving from location to location. And if you're not sensitive to this, if you're not aware of this, you could be losing your market share. There's also what we call the PES analysis. So you have the SWOT and the PES analysis. You need to be ensured that you are oriented to these realities. You're sensitive to them and you're also placed to be responsive to these things. So let's look at another reason why you, you are collecting and leveraging geographic data. You are better able to understand the ideal client based on regional issues, challenges, and changes. And if you recognize what's happening here, you're going from a local brand because you're sensitive. You're now taking geography and asking yourself, is my brand only locally positioned or are they nationally positioned? Now that you have recognized that you have a bigger market share because you're going national, not just local, you want to now go regional, all right? That's increasing your market share based on geographies. And the last one, it helps you to better understand the ideal client based on international issues, challenges, and changes that is taking place. So it means that because you are now into business, you're using the data, these data points, you are now being able to take your business global, international. And these are some of the reasons why you are collecting sensitive data, analyzing sensitive data, leveraging sensitive data and mitigating sensitive data to optimize the sales outcome and that business potential to cash flow. In conclusion, I want to say this. To master market research and data analytics is to be market oriented, is to be market sensitive, is to be market responsive. The success of every business, big businesses, depends on this. Now, in conclusion, I want to say this. If you find this program interested, I want to encourage you to like, subscribe, and share. And also, make leave a comment. Go to the comment box, leave a comment. And with that, I will give you a free consultation on how to apply these five lessons that I've shared with you over the last five days to your business, to grow and scale your business and cash flow optimize. All right? All you need to do is to like, subscribe, share make a comment. All right. I will see your comment and I will respond to you. Let us know that you, you're following the program. You're enjoying the content. You may have a concern. Let us know that in your in the comment. And I will definitely reach out to you and ensure that you are benefiting from the free consultation with me. Last but not least, you will also be, you can become a member of our community. And there's a lot of benefit when you become a part of the inner circle. All right, you will benefit from our mentors, from our coaches, you will get access to sponsors and you will be a part of a community that is gonna do everything to push you forward. Part of what we do is help businesses to access capital. What type of capital? Debt, equity, credit, creative financing and hard money lending. Part of what we also do is really help our clients to understand all that they need to understand about money because you just don't wanna access capital and then it becomes a liability to you. So what we do, we work with you to help you to understand capital portfolio, how to access, how to leverage, and how to mitigate financial instruments. So with that being said, again, I want to thank you for taking the time to be here with us today. Be blessed. See you in the next broadcast.